My people, oh, hmm. the king onion fife is so happy right now. He's so happy. The man jubilate. He is jubilating because uh, Queen Naomi wants to show her that she loves her. She loves him so much that nothing can come between them. Yes. As we heard though, as we heard allegedly that Mama Tadenika will reach out to Queen Naomi and uh, reach out to the king and told him that I have been hearing all these all these people what they have been saying. I have been hearing them how they are saying that I cannot come back to the palace. That even if I come back, that I cannot stay in the palace with the, with them. That they must make sure that I don't come back. That she have also heard uh, at Tigbi say that over her by body will, will I come back with Kunomi come back to the palace of the eh? But she, all of these things, even the way uh, at the gospel, the way she has been pretending as if she is happy with the king, why she, uh, with Queen Naomi, why she is a hypocrite, something like that. And in short, we heard that only Queen Naomi told the king that she knew all these people's plan, every bit of their plan that he, she knew it, but she just keeping calm because she's not a, a troublesome human being, and she's not a talking type. That whatever she wants to do is in her in her mind. That but now she is coming to show them that she is not what they think that she is. That she is quiet all this while. They thought that they can uh, manipulate her or they can take what belongs to her. But this time around, she have come out to show them that that palace is her place that she, and she must come back to it. As we heard that the date have been fixed. Yes, Kunomi is there now. As we heard though, she always reach out with the king to prepare for her coming back because she's really busy preparing for her coming back. She's coming back very soon in this June. So when the king was like was uh, was complaining, uh, how is he going to go? Um, these people are fighting Elori Ibi and the Ronke. They are even going spiritually. So the king, the economy now told the king that that these people have done more than enough. But this time around, that she is assuring the king that nothing can come between the two of them. Not even the Oloris. Excuse me. Not even the Oloris can come between the two of them. That she is going to fight to see to, to see it that she win the battle. And one thing that gives her confidence in this whole thing is that this they, they are meant to be together. Now, if not the fact that they are meant to be together, hmm, she would have left since. But what what still kept her is that the two of them, Onyofi and the Kunomi. I mean, they said that allegedly the Kunomi was saying this that the two of them is meant to be together. That what the, what God have joined, no man should put us under. That nothing is going to come between her and the, the king. That the king should not panic. Whether, she, whether what is happening, whether she's going to uh, come back or not. That she's preparing full time to come back. And nothing is going to stop her from coming back to the palace. And very soon, but then Nikawa will experience the fatherly love. Because the king has desire, been desiring that that they will come back and be with him in the palace but uh, things are going the way it is going so my people oh, allegedly as we hear though like Nomi is uh, told the king that she is really really preparing for her coming back that that, Kunomi, um, that the king should not panic that is no longer the time they used to say that she's not coming back she's not coming back because we heard that uh, at Yeboni told the king that if you think that Kunomi is coming back to you in this palace to stay with you, that you must be a joker. The same way she went to Kunomi and told Kunomi that if you think that you are going to be alone in that palace with the king, that you are, <laughs> you must be joking. That the king is preparing to bring in another wife. <laughs> My people. 
I was surprised on hearing that one. No? That the king is replying on how to bring in another wife. If you think that the king the king is tired of marrying women, that you are you are joking. I was like, this one, which one be joking, joking? All of them is joking. Even she herself, she's also joking now. Because if she thinks that Kunumi is not coming back to the palace, she's also joking. So all of them, they don't become jokers. But don't worry, jokingly, 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 Kunumi will come back and take her place in the palace. Kunumi, take your place, take your place. You're gonna take your place. Yes, nobody's going to stop you. I just feel like sometimes singing for Queen Nomi because I love this woman so much. She's just a beautiful woman. Not just because of her beauty, which as in physical beauty, like the way she appears. Her intellect, what she has in her mind. This woman they challenged me seriously. She really challenging me, but I don't know. I don't know how this all the all the reasons are seeing her because I think had they been they, they calmed down and did not send her out of the palace, they would have learned a lot of things from her. She's a small woman with big God. Yes. I think she told Queen uh, Doc, uh, Olori Mariam the other day that she's a small woman with because Olori Mariam was saying that look at this small girl that is going to send her out of the palace. But that kind of a thing is never going to happen. That she's, she can never leave the palace for Queen Naomi. This small girl. And we heard that Kunomi told her that she is a small girl with bigger God. For sure. Small girl with bigger God. <laughs> anyway, share my career, people. Oh, one thing I'm happy about is that this is happening. Like, the king is happy. I want any of to be happy, oh, seriously. He's, a, he's, my, he's also my own king. I want him to be happy. Because he's a good man. I used to hear the good things that he used to do for people. Both the ones that appeared in the um, in the newspaper and the ones I heard from people's mouth. He's such, he's such a, a nice man and he deserves to be treated alright. He deserves to be treated good. In short, the person that he deserves to be with is Queen Naomi. Mm -hmm. Anything that is not like Queen Naomi, the king doesn't need that kind of person. Because see the solo is that just feel the palace looking for what to take, looking for what to lay hands upon. They are just looking for all of these things to take it, let it be their own. They want, they want to be in the palace to grab their own share of the national moi moi. But you see that national moi moi, you get people where get them. Hmm. And then the cowboy is even the owner of the national moi moi. So let them go and rest. Anyway, share my crap. I just saw this and I decided to share with you. I don't know how you see it and what you have to say about it. Please don't forget that they are all alleged information. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you and God bless you. Love you guys. Bye.